Whether we notice it or not, our lifestyle in Asia and the Pacific is changing every year. Our cities are growing, our homes are filling up with things, with stuff. In all parts of our lives, we have more options than ever before. From food to transport, homes, what we do with our spare time, how we spend our money. Have you ever wondered where it all came from? The world behind our stuff is invisible to most people. Let us take you for a ride to see what it really takes to feed our lifestyles. The images you will see are shown in real size. All parts of our lifestyle have a carbon footprint. This is one ton of the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide. The Asia and the Pacific region emits 28 billion tons of greenhouse gases every year. That's about 905 tons every second. Not all of us have the same carbon footprint. Our carbon footprints are determined both by the infrastructural investments our governments make as well as our personal lifestyle choices. Making these footprints differ dramatically. Carbon footprint is only one measure of our impact. UN Environment and scientists with the CSIRO and Sydney University have collected data on over 100 indicators over the years. That's how we know, for example, that every year the region is removing over 2,000 trillion litres of water from the environment. This is the rate at which we extract water from the environment in the Asia-Pacific region. All day, every day. That's 27 Olympic-sized swimming pools every second. Measuring resource use can also tell us how efficient we are. Not only do we need to compare the resources we use, but also what we get out of them. For example, how much water is needed for every dollar we spend? Why does each dollar in Pakistan require so much more water than China? How is Japan so efficient? Answering these questions can help us improve our efficiency. And here is the rate at which we use metal ores every single day. Using these materials to make the things we see around us has impacts. It generates carbon footprints, it requires water and energy, and we end up creating pollution and waste. In fact, almost everything you use is waste waiting to happen, unless we change the system. Our material footprints also differ dramatically depending on where we live and our lifestyles. Here is a snapshot of what it takes for each of us. Australia, Bangladesh, China, Fiji, Germany, India, Indonesia, Japan, Mexico, Mongolia, Norway, Singapore, South Africa, Thailand, USA. Some people need more resources to meet basic needs. But after basic needs are met, overconsumption can happen if we don't change our consumerist societal norms. So what happens if we don't change? One side effect we are seeing from our energy and transport decisions is air pollution, which causes over 4 million preventable deaths in the region every year. Women, children and the poor are disproportionately affected. Another consequence of our consumption pattern is the increase in marine litter. Over 8 million tons of plastic enter our oceans every year. That's the equivalent of almost 20,000 plastic bottles per second. And what about climate change? Even optimistic scenarios predict that sea levels will rise by 89 centimeters by the end of the century. If we don't act now, 
It could be as high as 132 centimeters. That would mean saying goodbye to many islands. Transport. Our daily transport choices add up and contribute to climate change and air pollution. Carpool, take public transportation, walk, cycle. Many of us have these options and they make a big difference. Whether you are a citizen, policymaker, or a business, we can all play a role in contributing to a lower carbon emission, lower waste, and a pollution-free planet. Join us 